All right, first time, let's see what we can do. I'm pretty much gonna go exactly what by with the icy veins rankings. I still don't know all the cars, but I know how to play in general, so time to get into the arena. Choose a hero. Um, I'm most familiar with the druid. The rogue is, I've, the few times I've done that, it's, it's been fun. She's a good bird. I must be protected what I know. the wild. Now, pick a card to add to your deck. All right, I don't have any of these in my normal decks, constructive-wise, so no idea where to start. Icy veins, tell me. None of these are on the list, so... I've seen Gadget Zen Auctioneer being a very strong card. Smart, Swordsmith, of course, will be... Uh, Mel, more RNG. Problem is, Auctioneer comes in late game, so it could be taken out pretty quick. Where Swordsmith is a two-drop. Bite though, man, that is a strong. Well, I like card advantage. Keep it up. Um. It's really difficult. I like the taunt to cover other stuff, but and the Razor Fan Hunter is strong because it's you know split, but the buff. Wow. Um, I see Iron Bark Protector as a tier 3 choice, so. That abusive, though, is sure. Well, that's a strong one drop if you got other stuff on the board. Unfortunately, it's a support card that way, but. Silver Hand. That's a 6 6 for 5. No, I need something big. Alright, giving your opponent cards sounds pretty bad, but it's strong removal. There's no, you know, restrictions. Spell damage? No. And the card's just too weak for three. Cult Master, of course, is pretty iconic. I showed his tier three on Hearthstone's list. Naturalize, I'm not sure. Naturalize does show his five, kind of bad, but. Too early to really know what my curve is 
I'm going to look like Druids. I like mid to late games, so I want the curve heavier. Do cult. That is so good for removal. And of course, if, it can, if it's got an empty board, it's not as well. The low health, of course. I, I think the silence is just too strong. The gadget zen, or the booty bay guy, the four health for five just usually doesn't work out very well. I'm gonna do the owl. Oh boy. I know stealth works nice. Each of these cards is actually not bad, so let's look at the list. Sun does, or Icy doesn't like the Dragon Hawk as much as these two. As far as fives, we have the gadget. Three is actually a little high for a two two. But I don't have any three drops at all yet. And it's decent. I don't have any one drops though. I think this would be a good place to start. Especially if I could get a buff out on it or I'm not sure what type of synergy I'll have yet, but. Well, I guess I'll just have to hope for a better one drop. I'll go. Well. Ah! Oh, I hate these type of decisions. I'm gonna go for Rifleman. Felt better. Well, none of these cards is on the list at Icy, so... I, mean, I like Light Warden when I'm playing the Priest, but I won't be healing anything specifically with the Druid, so I'd have to pretty much ignore the effect. Pine size will help. Well, it's only a first. I don't really have a good one drop yet, and that, technically if I'm playing the hands to healer, one two would be fine, I guess. I just wish I had more experience with these cards. I don't have any of them in my decks. Well, except Light Warden.
don't have much at the end, but I already know that a Grim Scale is awful. People don't like Murlocs because you can't force synergy and you know it's in drafts, so if I choose this now though, that's pretty much takes care of my top end. I have to avoid any sevens. And I think that'll be okay. He rates all of these in the tier 4 average tier, so pretty much my choice. I think the Divine Shield is going to be a little more compelling than Taunt still. Well, I already have a one drop and the exact same. Keeper, I don't know, I don't have it, so I don't know. I mean, it's a nice being able to choose, but for removal, this is. I don't have anything that even competes with that. My minions are very heavy so far, so I think I'm going to go with Starfall. That's a pretty awful, but a four heal might be okay. Pretty sure it's gonna be between Wrath and Claw. The choice here is nice for two mana and Icy puts uh, Wrath at 2, Claw at 3. This I use a lot in just my deck because it's, just, it's very nice. Uh, the cost and, and the buff is nice. So Yeah, I think I'm going to go with Wrath. don't know. It's a... It's really a combo card and taunts... I don't have a good mid-range taunt. Stats are a little light, but it's a lot of health. I don't know if two Cult Masters is good. Because of low health for a 4-drop, but the effect, of course... Icy puts Abusive in tier 2 great, Fen Creeper in tier 3 good. To be honest, I still am low on the 1 drops, but... 
Alright, I'm gonna try him. amazing to be honest although I hear this is also very good Innervate and Soul of the Forest is average, with Worgen being great. And my one drops are a little light, but I already have so many minions. Is it, am I gonna be able to keep minions out? If I have a few minions out when I cast this, you know, that will be incredible. But it's reliant on having a full board, and I assume in the arena it's going to be pretty aggressive and I'm not going to keep things on the board, so... Um, stealth means that only AOE yeah, can get rid of it, really. Wow, that is such a hard call. Well, to get my curve, though, I need more mid, and this is something that I just feel strongly... Well, I've never used it. Oh, I hate this. I don't have any spells, so I'm just gonna go with it. He gives these first two tier two great with wild growth of four average. I sort of agree with this. I in my normal druid deck, I usually get this too late, and it doesn't have the greatest effect. It can become a draw card when you have ten mana though. These two. There's an aura too, so if I can get things out on the board and have things on the board, this would be great for just removal or sudden burst. Well, I've really already committed to sevens, so I'm gonna stick with the dwarf. Well, I see rates both of these as bad. And this one is like top excellent. <laughs> Which was a choice, I, I agree. My fives, I can have room for it. I ain't gonna go with that then.
I know I don't like this. Healing touch, I hear so so. Power of the Wild, I need to look at. Look at my curve though, threes is pretty light. I only have the one minion. So it might fit, but this is rated as tier three good. So I am gonna go with that. Choices just seem awesome. See this used a lot. Very strong if you can put stuff out. I've seen this used by a number of different decks. Icy has no advice for me on any of these, so look at the curve. I'm light on threes for sure. This can be so nice to, if you can put it. Well, I've already got taunt on this big guy. You know, if you can combo with it. Difficult call. I do not know what to do. Okay, so do I want something that's going to kill itself eventually and put out more 1 1s? What do I want? Yeah, I want the control, I think. Yeah, I'm going to go with the protector. Fours are okay. So probably these two. This thing just goes nuts though. Well, Icy actually rates this tier three good. And this one tier two great. So my threes are light anyway. It makes sense. Fire, I believe, is just, you know, at least constructed, it's pretty awful. Arc Mage, do I have any sixes? Fairy Dragon, I know it was annoying to play against. I don't know if it'll be effective in mine. My twos are not that strong as far as minions, that's for sure. Puts this one at uh, tier four average, and the fairy at tier three good. I just don't the spell damage. I just don't think it's gonna help me. And the minion itself, you know, for six, it's got enough health, but not much attacking power. I'm gonna do the dragon. Now that 
That's interesting. Um, I will, well, no. Can't count on having anything else, so I would never, it would never be more than one. is best with my curve versus these. I don't have an ooze yet, so that that could randomly be helpful. I mean, it's only a, it's a one drop. No, I'm just at the end. Corrand, I know I don't like. Torin. He doesn't really impress with any of these either, so it'll be more about a curve if I already have. I don't know. I mean, I don't have anything at six, but my sevens are fine. It's just, it's not a lot of damage. Whereas this thing, if it survives. I don't feel comfortable about this, but I am going with the Arc Mage. I don't think I need a second berry, because my twos are already... Yeah, I'm already looking like more of an aggressive deck. I need to be pushing towards three, but... Tidehunter... That has been handy. He doesn't like it. I guess it does, it does split into you know, two different smaller things, but I don't think I need a second fairy. Just that. That protection has helped, but I, I know it's been annoying to face. She's showing Mark at tier three good and Brewmaster at tier four average. Now, the effect can the Battlecry can be very nice. Like you get something damaged and you bring it back next turn full or whatever. I can see using that for sure, but because I've got things that are fragile and things that'll have nice you know to reuse. But a few divine shields even.
Just boy, that is quite the buff. Well, my spells are light. I'm currently showing 20. Um, well, okay, 17 minions versus five spells. So on that alone, I think it's smarter to take one. He shows all three of these in the tier 4 average. So it's going up to my curve. The charge with that much health, I can't even survive, it's just the two attack. Spell damage isn't really a consideration, so do a 4 4 or do I want some of the charges? can survive pretty well. Okay, my four is now. I feel like the ogre is a smarter choice here. That, so it's easy to dismiss. This I've seen. I know. Um, I know it's pretty strong just from watching some streams. This, of course, is amazing. So fives. I feel like this could be the, the right card, but it's so powerful. This one is just crit synergy with just about everything, so. Solid being able to choose that the flexibility is so nice. The taunt, of course, this is just this guy's so standard. I don't know about this one. Well, I already have this one. This is rated at uh, tier two great and tier one excellent. Well, technically that's tier three good, but just I have not used this one at all. It's early game, and if it could survive, that's quite a bit of pump, but this guy is so Looking at my curve, two is should be a little higher at this stage. I want, you know, well. No, actually two might be high enough already. Imp, no, it's not fury, iron, fairy, wrath. Well, 
two is pretty solid then. Maybe it is time for a four. It's just getting this out early and No, I feel like I need to a solid middle. Still just don't like that idea at all. Loot Hoarder, of course, is a good card. Well, I guess I should check for the Druid, but card advantage like that, I, I've seen it work so well. She puts this at uh, tier four average, actually. The fairy is a little head, I think. Fairy is at tier three, good, so it likes it a little better, but I don't have much card advantage stuff. I'll try him. Care for savagery. That is just stupid. I've seen it played, but you'd have to buff it and it seems like a better choice. I guess I should check. See where it might have its use, but I'm gonna try the swordsmith. The curve is definitely looking aggressive. And have I missed stuff? Have I been doing that right? This is such a good card. But then this is also, if I can have stuff out, even the tiger is not bad. I think my curve can handle a three, but I should be doing fours and fives, so. Both of these are in Icy's tier four average, whereas this is tier one excellent. The thing is, I think it's just too late to add that. Well, no, if I, I, I believe Druids can work aggressive. So let me just double check that even. Between 
this stealth usually means it's going to get at least one attack in. This is a pump for whatever else I can have on the board. And I've got enough two and three drops that I should have at least one more on the board, which means it would catch up. I wouldn't have the protection of stealth, though. Oh, cannot decide. I still want to pick this. It's just... Let's go for the solid. Heard about this, never played it of course, hadn't even seen it used against me, but oh boy. This of course is annoying as hell. The low health though, it, it's usually been pretty easy to overcome, but the Divine Shield is, can, can be a real problem. That just seems stupid. I see he doesn't have anything to offer. Um, I've seen this used to great effect, but I was just saying it's been easy for me to remove in the past too. Because of low health, I mean, it's, it typically can be eight damage because you usually get you know you kill someone immediately or even the bottom, even your opponent, and then you'll have a round to still push, but. This, four, is just a lot of minions. My sixes, what have I got sixes? Archmage. I just feel like it's more important to have the six here. Now, challenge another arena player and see how your deck holds up. Yeah, we'll see. 